kitty cats, get down to my room. I'm trying to do something. Hey book lovers, it's Sydney Books today with a new video for you guys, and this one's going to be interesting, so get ready for that. So today I have a tag for you guys. This one is not an original by me, this one is by JHT Books, and it's the superhero book tag. That was so wrong, it was supposed to be like that, but I decided to be all high and mighty. Boom. Doesn't work. It did not work. A few announcements though before we get started. Thank you guys so much for 90 subscribers. That's like a big step. Oh, 10 more to 100. That's like going to be super exciting for me. And I had another one, but I can't think of it at the top of my head. I had some planned out and everything. It's just I'm not very organized as you can tell. I can't really think of what my other announcement was, so we'll just get started with the tag. Okay. So the first one is Thor, a worthy book that you th really liked but you don't think got enough attention. And I seriously think that would be kind of an obvious one for me. But I'm going to try to change it up for my usual selection option and I'm going to go with The Duff. And I know what you're thinking, gosh, Sydney, that's made out of a movie and most good books aren't movies yet, like The Selection. But I know it's like big because of the movie, but some people didn't even know there was a book. Actually, not just some. Most people I talked to and saw me reading this at school, they're like, oh, I didn't know that was a book. I saw the movie, but I didn't know it was a book. So, yeah, I think the book, the book, which is a little bit better than the movie, should have gotten more credit. So, yeah, this is my Thor. It's definitely not as hot, but, you know, it's a Thor. The next one is Captain America, your favorite historical fiction. <laughs> yeah, right, because I read educational things. <laughs> yeah, okay. But seriously, I literally scanned my bookshelf for a really long time and I couldn't find one nearly historical fiction book. The only one I really read was A Diary of Anne Frank, but I don't have a physical copy with that with me, so yeah, you can just say Anne Frank then. Okay. The next book is Hulk. A book that made you just feel so angry. And I have the perfect one for that. I know I said I was going to save this because I can probably use the selection in every instance. But it is the selection. I mean, okay, the books were really good. Those aren't what made me angry. It's freaking how indecisive freaking America's freaking singer is. So it, it's like, just choose who everybody knows is right for you. Don't even consider Aspen. Aspen isn't part of this. Aspen isn't even cool. Okay? Just no. No. The next one is Iron Man, a futuristic book, which how many futuristic dystopian novels do we all know? So I'm just gonna pick a random one, which I picked Legend, because, you know, Legend doesn't get enough credit. That's another, like, Thor kind of things. It's worthy, but it doesn't get barely any attention. But, you know, I do a lot of Divergent Hunger Games stuff, so legend it is. Legend's the Iron Man. Boom. So, the next one is Loki, a book that you were tricked into thinking it was good, but no. It wasn't that good. And I was originally going to do Maze Runner for this, because you guys know I don't really like Maze Runner that much. But, since that's my typical not likey book... I don't necessarily not like this book, but so far I was tricked in thinking this is the best book, best book series ever, but it's kind of boring me. I mean, the first one was good, but the second one's kind of, you know, eh, so I'm going to say the Mortal Instruments series. Don't hate and don't, like, spam me with comments on how much you love the Mortal Instruments, because I get it. A lot of people like this stuff, but I don't know, it's kind of, like, boring me with the storyline in the second one. The first one, like I said, was a 4 out of 5 star, but the second one, like, I can't really get into it. That's why I've kind of been in a reading slump lately, and I haven't been reading as much as I had. Of course, exception that I read The Duff in like two days. But I have been reading City of Ashes like on and off again for about two months. So yeah, this is my Loki. The next one is Batman, which I'm not really fond of DC characters, but whatevs. And that would be a book which the main character's parents are still alive. Cricket, cricket, cricket. That's gonna be a hard one. 
So I scrolled through my shelves and I found Anna and the French Kiss. Her parents are still alive even though they're divorced and like don't even talk to each other and her dad's a total butt munch. They're still alive. Woo. The next book is The Winter Soldier, a book you read a really long time ago and you can't even remember it. Uh, I see what you did there because The Winter Soldier, he can't remember anything. And he turns all bad. And, uh, spoiler alert, I'm a huge Marvel geek so I know this stuff. But a one that I read a really long time ago and I can't even remember is The Land of the Green Ginger. Like, I barely even, I don't even remember the main character's name. What is it? Ooh, it has Aladdin in it, but he's in Emperor of China instead. Um, See, I don't remember these things. I know I read this in like third, fourth grade, but I don't even remember anything about it. So it's weird. The next one is The Fantastic Four, which is a book with four, or not a book, a series with four books in it. Exactly. And this is kind of hard because as you guys know, most books either have three or five in a series. But I did find one. I only have three of the books because one of them hasn't even come out yet. But everybody knows about it. And it's going to be a four book series. And that is The Lunar Chronicles. Which we're kind of missing Winter, the fourth book here. But it's technically still a four book series because the fourth book has been mentioned. So yeah. Next thing. The final little superhero slash villain in this case is Joker, a book that made you LOL. Laugh out loud if you guys are basic and didn't know what that meant. Meant, meaned, meaned, okay, meant, I meant. And that would be Harry Potter because Ron Weasley though, his little comments, I mean I was going to choose Lost Hero just because Leo and his comments, I mean I could choose both of them. So Lost Hero and Harry Potter, I don't want to go back there and grab it because I'm really lazy like that. But yeah, Ron and Leo basically are... A madhouse of laughter. Just wrap that little bundle up. Yeah. So that's about it, guys. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, like, like it up if you liked it. And hit subscribe down below for more crazy booktube things like the calls and reviews and other tags. So yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh my god. I think I remembered what I was going to say. Okay, so I said thanks for 90 subscribers, and I was going to say... I forgot it again. Oh well, forget it.